Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 best PvP vehicles to have in GTA 5 Online in 2023. And this top 5 is based on how well the vehicle is performing, surviving, and also its mobility. So all of these vehicles are pretty much good at all of those things. Now, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, I only ask one favor from you, and that is to drop a like and also hit that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get into this top 5 best PvP vehicle list. So coming in at number 5, we have the Deluxe. So, and at the high price tag of $4.7 million, you can also have one for yourself too. And I have to say that $4.7 million is definitely worth it with the perks that come with owning a Deluxo. Now, one really cool thing that everybody can do with a Deluxo is the option to dodge all missiles. All you need to do is the specific trick that I'm doing right now. And if you do this exact trick, as you can see, you basically dodge every missile that comes your direction. Now, if you do not know how to do this dodge missiles trick with a Deluxo, I'm going to teach you that right now. So in order to do this trick, it is pretty simple. All you need to do is make sure that you're in hover mode in the deluxe. So once you're in hover mode, all you need to do is hold your brake button all the way in and keep holding your brake button. Once you're holding your brake button all the way in, next thing you need to do is hold your left joystick to the top right. Once you're doing that, you just need to hold both of those buttons down at the exact same time. So your left joystick to the top right and your brake button all the way in. Hold those buttons at the exact same time and you're going to be doing this exact motion that I'm doing right here. Once you're doing this motion, you will notice that whenever somebody shoots missiles at you, you will dodge basically every single one of them. But every once in a while doing this trick, there somehow is going to be a missile that hits you. And as you know, in a Deluxo, it only takes one missile to blow you up. Now, to eliminate this from happening, what you want to do while doing this trick in the Deluxo is make sure you have your homing missiles selected and try to lock on to whatever enemy you're running away from and try to lock onto them and take them out. I promise you guys, if you lock onto them, all you need to do is shoot your missile and you're going to be the one who takes them out and they're not going to be taking you out because this trick makes it so their homing missiles can't even take you out. But yeah, those are the reasons that the Deluxo is a great vehicle when it comes to PvP and that's the reason that it is fifth in this video. Now let's go ahead and get into the fourth best PvP vehicle to have in GTA Online. Now coming in the fourth spot we have the Sparrow coming in at a price of 1.8 million dollars and I think the full 1.8 million dollars is 100% worth it because buying this gives you the fastest helicopter and fastest shooting missile helicopter in the game. It's also probably one of the most reliable helicopters to use in GTA Online when it comes to just roaming around the map and I say it's reliable because the Sparrow is a very fast helicopter to roam around in GTA Online. Let's say you're doing crate missions or if you're doing any type of mission in a GTA Online session, the Sparrow is definitely going to be your best bet to go around the map super fast without wasting your time. And like I said, the Sparrow is the fastest shooting missile helicopter in GTA Online. That's also probably the main reason you should buy it. As you can see, here's me shooting the Sparrow compared to shooting the Buzzard. The Buzzard only shoots two at a time and the Sparrow literally just rapid fires and it never runs out of missiles. So you can literally sit here forever spamming the sparrow missiles you're never gonna run out until of course your sparrow gets blown up all those missiles for you to shoot and if somebody comes up to you trying to shoot their missiles at you you also have flares in the back equipped if you have the option that can deflect all those missiles coming at you and protect you from incoming missiles from other vehicles but yeah those are the reasons that the sparrow is the fourth best pvp vehicle to have in gt online of course it's also very simple and easy to call out you literally just open up your interaction menu go to your services go to your kosatka record Request your Sparrow and it comes in literally one second right next to you. But yeah, those are the reasons that the Sparrow came in the fourth spot. And coming in third for best PvP vehicles to own, that's going to have to go straight to the Laser. I'm pretty sure I don't even need to explain why the Laser is number three. It's because the Laser is honestly just one of the best fighter jets to use in GTA Online. Let's say you have fighter jets attacking you like a Hydro or even another Laser. If you have a Laser to fight that Laser back or that other Hydro or whatever's in the air fighting you, this Laser is going to do the job at taking that person and out 100%. This laser is also one of the fastest fighter jets to fly around and it also has cannons and missiles attached to it. So if you know what you're doing and you're really good at using the laser, this can be a really lethal vehicle to use in GTA Online sessions. That is of course if you do know how to use it and that's why it's number three in this list. Now this next part of the video is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be the second best PvP vehicle to own but this PvP vehicle is going to be actually two so it's going to be a combo. So in order to do this very overpowered combo you just need to own two different different things, those two things being the Kosatka with the guided missiles and also any single yacht with the air defense option turned on. If you do not know how to turn the air defense option turned on, I'm going to show you guys that right now. Okay, so in order to do this, it is pretty simple. All you need to do is simply open up your interaction menu, go over here to where it says services and click right here at the very top where it says galaxy super yacht. This is going to be your yacht, of course. Once you do select this now, click right here at the second option where it says yacht defenses and make sure that it is turned on. Once you turn it on, it'll say 
defense exclusions and these are going to be people that it's not going to take out that come near your yacht now if you don't want it to take out any one of the people on your friends list you can set it to friends if you don't want it to kill anybody in your crew you can set it to crew or friends and crew which is probably the best option to have or you can make it so it doesn't blow up anybody in your organization your motorcycle club your associates or you could just have a nobody and have your yacht blow up literally anybody even your own friends that come near your kosatka but once you do have your yacht defenses turned on and you have your defense exclusions to whatever you wanted to set it to next thing you need to do is enter inside of your kosatka now we're gonna get to probably the most dirty thing you can do in gta 5 online now once you are inside of your Kosatka, all you need to do next is simply sit down right here where your guided missiles are and you guys can probably tell what I'm going to tell you guys to do next. Yes, the next thing you want to do now is simply launch a guided missile and while you're launching this guided missile and your Kosatka is sitting here, you will no longer have to worry about people coming over to your Kosatka and blowing it up while you're inside your guided missile because we do have the yacht defenses turned on. And if you guys are wondering what the yacht defenses do, I'm actually going to show you guys right now. Now as you all know, when you're in your Kosatka, the only thing you need to fear is somebody firing finding your Kosatka and blowing it up with an oppressor or something with missiles. Well, with the yacht defenses turned on and your yacht park next to your Kosatka, you can see when anything comes around flying your Kosatka, as long as it's parked next to your yacht, it's going to get instantly blown up. Now that is what makes this combo super overpowered. You can literally go in a GTA Online session, sit in your Kosatka, launch guided missiles and blow people up while also being protected by your yacht. Also, if somebody gets blown up near your yacht and they somehow spawn on top of here, they can't even use their weapon loadout because we do have our yacht defenses turned on, but you also can't as well. So you guys are basically going to have to become friends. But yeah, the yacht and Kosatka combo with guided missiles, of course, and your Kosatka and air defense on your yacht is one of the most overpowered combos. And that is the reason it came in number two for best PVP vehicles in 2023. Now let's go ahead and get into the finale, which is the first best vehicle to own for PVP and GTA online. And coming in spot number one for best PVP, PvP vehicles to have in GTA Online, that's gonna have to go to the Acid Lab. Coming in at a price of only 750k, you're getting one of the most fun and also most useful vehicles in GTA Online, especially when it comes to moving around the map. Now there's so many different things that I love about the Acid Lab, but the first thing that I do love about it is at the very front of it, you can actually put a ramp on the front. If you put a ramp on the front, it basically turns this huge truck into a ramp buggy. And it's kind of funny because I think you would have never expected a huge truck like the Acid Lab to become a ramp buggy if you put that ramp in the front as you can see right now i'm literally just ramming all the cars that are in front of me and it's ramping them all super high in the air and it's actually really funny and also fun to do just driving around in gta 5 online like this and not only that but this acid lab takes a total of 49 missiles to blow up yes 49 missiles just think about that the oppressor mark 2 only holds around 30 missiles so an oppressor mark 2 completely brand new can't even blow this acid lab up and that's even if they hit all 30 of them and just to prove to you guys that it does take take indeed 49 missiles i got my friend right here with his sparrow and he's gonna shoot a total of 49 missiles at my acid lab right here you can see right here he's gonna actually start shooting and he's missing every single one of them uh hold up let me uh let me hold up okay so we have re-angled him so this time there's no way he can possibly miss this time you can see he's literally directly right in front of it and now you guys are gonna see exactly how many missiles the acid lab can take you can see right now my friend's just gonna spam a whole bunch of but I'll be back again. All right, now if it messes up this time, I literally don't even know what to do. If you guys are wondering why I'm doing the emote, the emote is what my signal is to my friend for him to shoot the missiles. Anyway, you can see right here, perfect, it's going good now, he's not messing up. But you can see he's literally spamming a whole bunch of missiles at the Sparrow, and I'm not just gonna fast forward this gameplay, just so you guys can see, it indeed took 49 missiles to blow this up. And after 49 missiles, the acid lab is now blown up. But isn't that insane? It takes a total of 49 missiles to blow up the acid lab. 49 missiles and this acid lab is an absolute tank that can actually drive fast and it also gets rid of every vehicle that is in front of you. If you ask me, the acid lab is definitely one of the most overpowered vehicles to use in PvP for GTA 5 Online in 2023. But that is now going to be the end of today's video. I hope you all did go on to enjoy. If you did go on to enjoy today's video and you haven't dropped a like 
like already, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on the video. That way, people who don't know about my YouTube channel can also find out and watch this video as well. Also, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you never miss out on a future GTA 5 video from me, just like this one. But without further ado, that's it for me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.